Okay, having reached the appointed hour, I'm going to call this meeting of the uh, Watauga Water Board to uh, to order. Um, first off, uh, this hearing will be conducted as a virtual hearing. Uh, the meetings uh, will be available for viewing on Comcast uh, Cable Channel 18 in Fall River. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting and may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are here, uh, therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made and whether perceived or unperceived by those present are deemed acknowledged and permissible. We can move to item number one on the agenda. If I could just call, Collins. call the roll for the material. Uh, present. Member Collins. Present. Uh, Member Ferreira. He is not present at this time. Um, so uh, here at City Hall uh, is President Terrio, myself, the Administrative Community Utilities, Paul Ferlin, uh, Project Manager Olga Correa, and uh, the uh, Director of the Water Administration Division, Division Tom Tai. Um, as this is a virtual meeting, all uh, all votes will be called for a roll call vote. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Item number one, citizen input. Seeing none, we will move to item number two. Item number two is the Diamond High School proposal for a right of way license. This was tabled at the April 4th, 2023 meeting. I will uh, turn this over to Mr. Berlin. Yep. If he's the board would like to lift it from the table, make a vote. We have, having reviewed uh, the revocable license agreement, uh, the chair would entertain a vote uh, to accept the license. Could yeah. I have a motion on it? Yes, so moved. Seconded. Do you, do you want just an explanation of what the license is for? Well, I we I reviewed it, but Paul, if you want to highlight some of the stuff or um, give Mr. Bailey an opportunity to talk, that's fine. Yeah, definitely. I, I would Thank you. Like to, you know, just make sure everybody's aware of what this is. So this is a revocable license agreement that's being issued to Diamond. Uh, they requested during the construction of their school uh, that they uh, are able to uh, walk across water department property uh, at the rear of their fields. Uh, over to Talbot's fields that they're using for uh, their sport program. Um, this does not give them any rights of ownership or easements or anything like that. Again, it's structured as a revocable license, which allows them for a certain period of time during certain hours uh, to be able to, to use this. So they'll be using it in the spring session, uh, in the fall session. Uh, they did also request the winter, winter session and um, you know, through discussion, uh, I didn't think that was the best to allow those uh, times uh, to be done. It would be 2.30 to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, um, that uh, they'd be using it. Um, uh, uh, they will need to provide us uh, additional insurance on insurance policy. No motorized vehicles will be able to, uh, to uh, traverse this path. Uh, there will be gates on either side of this path. Uh, that will have a lock and key. Uh, so when they use it, they will go down, unlock the gate, walk over to Talbot, uh, walk back, lock the gate. When they're when they're done at the end of the day, the gate should be locked anytime when they don't have people uh, over on the Talbot side. Uh, the students should be accompanied by uh, diamond personnel uh, when they're traversing this area, uh, and uh, they will be. Uh, they'll be required for uh, maintenance of the path, keeping uh, the area safe uh, as and walking back and forth. Um, and that's kind of uh, a brief overview. This will be just for the uh, term while they're uh, while they're working on the construction of their school. Um, you know, naturally, one of the concerns that we always have is water deposit is uh, that is restricted area that they will uh, that they will be walking through. Uh, it's just up the hill from the 1873 pump station. Uh, the 1873 pump station, we do have uh, almost weekly issues of vandalism on that building. Uh, again, not, not saying that uh, these kids would do anything like that, but 
we do have those issues. We just don't like that attractive nuisance to be publicized, um, you know, uh, for people. So again, uh, if there is uh, any diamond student found um, that uh, is uh, doing anything outside of this agreement, uh, in this agreement, Diamond uh, agrees to take uh, appropriate uh, disciplinary action against that student. So that's kind of my rundown of the agreement. Uh, Bobby Bailey from uh, Diamond's athletic program is here. Uh, if the board has any questions, or Bobby, if, uh, excuse me, Smith and Bailey, if there's anything that you'd like to add. Yeah, it. Um, I think you pretty much covered everything um, as far as um, anything that goes on. We we would take ownership. Anything disciplinary, um, myself along with the superintendents uh, would take that under. Any student um, athlete that's crossing would have to be accompanied. Outside of that, gates would be locked on both sides. Um, yeah, so that's nothing. Nothing much outside of that. As far as um, you know, injured athletes, all of that stuff would. Um, if they had to be transport, transported from the Talbot Fields, they would not cross that area as well. Um, they would be um, obviously either taken around if they sprained an ankle, and if there was severe, then obviously an ambulance. With most of our sports being off campus, um, it's really nothing we can do as far as a train or transporting students back and forth. Um, I know it's a, uh, it's a transition, you know, and it's something that we're going to have to work on in terms of um, – you know, worrying about those things, but we're going to take all the safety precautions that we can um, to make sure we abide by um, this contract and also make sure we put our students in the uh, safest positions possible. So, uh, Mr. Furlan, the only question that I had is we have them in here from 2.30 to 6. Excuse my ignorance, but like is, will that be prior, these, will, these gates will be locked prior to sunset? Correct. Okay. All right, that was yeah, so so the reason why the reason why I um requested the two thirty is that gives students time to get out and gives the coaches time as soon as we get out to get there so we can get out um to six o'clock um and what, what we asked for the extended to six is because we'll be out well before then I mean that's a four hour gap we I mean it's illegal to even have a four hour practice <laughs> but just so I can make sure that days. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just so I can get kids kids out of there. Um, I've already told my coaches, um, you know, once we're crossing, I want kids out of there before before five thirty. Um, I think that's even too late. Um, but that just gives a buffer in case I got to come back and make sure everything is is good on my end. But yeah, we'll be out well before then. Typically, our practices don't even run that late um, in the day. But I would I would like I said I'd rather just get over there as soon as I can and get out as soon as we can. That was my only question. I uh, I had one concern, uh, Commissioner Collins, and it has been addressed um, that additionally, the licensee shall provide adequate signage and appropriate graphics and warning signs to inform personnel or public um, of the crossing of uh, the road itself. Uh, while it is a private road, I think it's 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 a good idea to have it look like a regular approved school crossing um and that's been included in here and that was my only big concern the other concerns have been addressed uh, mr perlin pointed out the uh, the old pump station which is on the national register of historic places as well as uh the new maintenance facility which is going to in turn um have new security fencing up at the top. So keeping the gates locked when not in use are going to be very, very much uh, an important part of this. I have no other questions. Commissioner Collins? Not, none, no. All right. On, on the motion made by Commissioner Collins and uh, seconded, um, voting in favor to approve the license agreement. Commissioner Collins? Aye. Yes. Mr. Terrier? President Terrier? Yes. Did you the table? Was it possible? 
the water was lifted from the table and then rebuilt out again. Make a motion for it. Make a motion to lift it from the table for another vote. A mo motion made. Second. All in favor? Uh, no. Yes. Member Collins? Yes. Three yes. Excuse me. Now we can make a motion to approve. Thank you. I apologize. The heat's getting to me. Now we'll take Council uh, Commissioner Collins's motion to approve. So Second. made. Seconded. All in favor? Member Collins? Yes. President Ontario? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck on a uh, successful season, uh, Mr. Bailey. We appreciate uh, you guys being good neighbors. Thank you. I appreciate it. Am I on mute still? I don't think. No, I think I'm on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, Ms. Nelson. Okay. Item number three, proposed leak abatements. We, um, having reviewed the leak abatements, um, we have a, a total of $7,813.69. Are there any questions? Can, can we? Can you explain just just because the Morton Street one is like forty two hundred dollars? Can Can you give me a just a quick explanation of how these are figured? Um, yeah. I would really appreciate it. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah, I looked into that. So, yeah, that is that is an that is an extremely large one. So, how the abatement policy uh, is, is structured to be able to issue a credit to somebody? Um, is what we do, we take an average of actual bills, so actual readings. Uh, so you'll see uh, in this in the uh, spreadsheet provided for this, uh, for the Morton Street one, there's an area where on the top three of them are boxed out, and then down towards the bottom, one of them is boxed out. So we get four quarters of normal usage, uh, and we take the uh, average of those quarters. Once we get the average of those quarters, we figure that that's his normal average bill. Uh, we subtract that from the high bill. Mm -hmm. uh, then whatever the balance is over that, so whatever is above your average bill, we issue a credit of 50% of that overage. So specifically looking at this one, uh, normal bill amounts would be uh, 1200 500 and 45, 470, and then 231. So those break down to an average, and we actually do it in uh, in CCFs, so we're not taking the actual monetary value. So the average historical CCF is 28 um, CCF per day. Uh, the high bill is 10.7 uh, CCF per day. So you take that 0.8, subtract it from the 10.7, which gives you the 9.88 CCF. Um, you divide that up into uh, the number of days and then uh, by the applicable rate of whatever that bill was billed at, whatever the uh, combined water or sewer rate. Uh, and then we give the credit is 50% of that usage. So will will they have the opportunity to come back and try to get abatements on the uh the other dates around that the nine eight and uh twenty two and the three nine twenty two? So there can only be one abatement within a five year period. Okay, all right, thank you. Yep. Yeah, I had called the office of Commissioner Collins, and I've uh, gone through this with uh, Mr. Perlman and. Uh, with the, the clerical team, and uh, it was uh, explained to me, and I, I I agree with this way of doing it. Uh, I think that it, it, it's a fairer way of assessing something, and although it's in this case an extremely large credit, in like the form, the bill was an extremely large bill, which was paid as well. 
yeah, I know I appreciate the uh, clarification. I just figured I'd ask. Thank you. That was that was all I had. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, if there are no other questions, the chair would entertain a motion to approve the uh, community utility uh, abatement in the amount of seven thousand eight hundred thirteen dollars and sixty nine cents. So moved. Second. All in favor? Roll call vote. Ron McCollins? Yes. President Terrio? Yes. Uh, any other business to come before the board? Hearing none, I'd like to thank Commissioner Collins for her time this afternoon. Uh, the chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second it. We'll call vote with the comments. Yes. President Turner. Yes. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you.